Merry Christmas! My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas, and it's December 21st. That's right. We only have four more days until Christmas, and I've been with you since December 1st, and we're going to go all the way through December 25th. I will be here with you even on Christmas morning. That's right. And so if you've drawn any hope or inspiration from any of these videos, please feel free to post them to your own Facebook or social media wall, spread some of this gospel cheer, or if you feel like it might benefit someone you know, please feel free to post a link onto their social media wall. Today's reading is called, Is December 25th Jesus' Birthday? The first verse is Isaiah 714 that says, Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Our second verse is Psalm 72, 11. May all kings fall down before him, and all nations serve him. You know, the Christmas story is probably the most famous story in all of the Bible. I would argue you could walk up to any random person on the street, ask them to tell you the Christmas story, and they could probably remember several details from the story. But why do we celebrate on December 25th? Is that really Jesus' birthday? No. No, we don't really know what day Jesus was born on, but we know that Jesus couldn't have been born in the wintertime because the shepherds were sleeping outside with their sheep because it was the birthing season. So that places Jesus' birthday somewhere between spring and fall. So how did we end up on December 25th? Well, this date was originally a holiday that Rome celebrated called Deus Natalis Solus Invicti, which means the birthday of the unconquered sun, as in the sun in the sky, S-U-N. When the Emperor Constantine became a Christian, he changed the pagan holiday into a Christian one by changing S-U-N worship into S-O-N worship. Now knowing this little piece of information, does that change the meaning of the Christmas story for you? Does it change the holiday season? It shouldn't. Romans 9, 28 says, We know that God uses all things for good and for his glory. Stockings hung by a fire, Christmas trees, presents, even Santa Claus, they can all be things, good things, that God uses to tell the Christmas story. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to come back tomorrow for our December 22nd reading. Hey, and one more thing before you go, I want to take a moment to remind you about our Christmas Eve services. We actually have two opportunities for worship on December 24th. We'll have a service at 5 p.m. and a service at 7 p.m., both of which are completely identical. Pick the service that works the best for you and your family. Our church has really enjoyed serving you and worshiping alongside of you this year. We would love to be the church where you live. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can find us at waldenchurch.com. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.